In the tax arena, many jurisdictions have realized that they can receive significant revenue from imposing penalties on those businesses that are not in full compliance with the Nexus laws. Unfortunately, the same rationale applies to licenses and permits. It can be very costly in terms of monetary penalties as well as in terms of lost goodwill when a business is not in the full compliance with the license and permit regulations. For the most part, most licenses and permits will have one of three types of fee schedules uh, based on employee count, what kind of your revenue stream, or a flat fee based on just maintaining the license. However, we have found that some, some jurisdictions have come up with rather unusual methods for deciding what the fee should be based on. There was a city in Alabama which based the fee on the current population of the city. Some are based on square footage, some on the size of your fleet. The fees are part and parcel of the filing. If you file the filing without the fee, then the authority will reject it out of hand and you can face penalties and interest. If you send the fee without the proper paperwork, the authority is just as likely to reject it. In some cases, if you send an incorrect fee, the authority might be accommodative and waive any late penalties. But if you send one without the other, you're pretty much asking to get a rejection.